Well, I'm joined now by Clive Smith, Chair of Trustees of the Haemophilia Society, who you saw just moments ago at that news conference um, representing um, your organisation. Clive, good to see you. And can I first ask, after so long, how are you feeling today? I think one of the overwhelming emotions for so many people today is vindication, mm -hmm. that the community has known for decades what happened and the fact that it shouldn't have happened, and they've had to bang government's door for decades to say, you need to have an inquiry, you need to uncover all this wrongdoing. And finally today, Sir Brian Langstaff shone a light on one of the darkest chapters in this nation's history. Mm -hmm. And so for many people, it's vindication, it's pain and regret. Some people have in there today have found it too difficult to read. The, findings are so devastating that it's just too hard to hear and of course so many people are full of regret about the people who are not here the lives that were unnecessarily lost because one of the conclusions that Sir Brian came to is that has come to is that much of this could and should have been avoided that's the bit that jumped out to me straight away when the report was released I mean uh, Sir Brian Langstaff talks about the cover-up a campaigner in the news conference you were in called it abuse yes uh, and also the report is damning in saying you were blatantly lied to. Yes. You know, those who came forward were blatantly lied to. I'll just read this bit out. Um, the damage caused has been compounded by the reaction of successive governments, the NHS and the medical profession, to say face an expense. Successive governments refused to admit responsibility, showing little interest in finding the truth, listening to those infected or taking action. It doesn't get more damning than that, does it? It doesn't, and it's been successive governments. They consistently told the community that they received the best available treatment based on the best medical advice. And we know now that's not true, or the world knows. The community has known that for decades, and quite why the government has just ignored this and pretended it wouldn't happen. So many people cynically have said the longer they wait, the fewer people will be left, the more people will be dead, the less compensation they will have to pay. And this isn't just about money, because justice has been delayed, and for so many it has been denied. Whilst today marks the start of that recognition for so many, the people who died over the last 30, 40 years, they will never receive justice. They will never get what they wanted to. So that's why today is such a bittersweet moment for the community. Clive, we talk about cynical delays in public inquiries, but look, this report has been delivered. But Sir Brian Langstaff has almost counteracted the next stage, because we know when there's a public inquiry, yes. there are recommendations and actions but everything moves at a snail's pace again. We hear that criticism so often after public inquiries. What's Sir Brian Langstaff done to counteract that, to make sure that doesn't happen? Sir Brian's, taken, absolutely, Sir Brian's taken an unprecedented step by saying, this is not my final report to government, to the minister who commissioned the report. He said, in 12 months' time, he said, I expect the government to present to parliament a report saying what they've done about my recommendations, saying whether they've implemented them, or explaining why they're not going to do it. I firmly believe that in the inquiries that there should be a presumption that governments implement recommendations from public inquiries. Otherwise, we keep having these scandals, we keep having these burning injustices, and we learn nothing. And sadly, history repeats itself time and time again. Can I just ask personally how you're feeling? Because I've been talking to so many people down here, and it's just such a mixture of emotions. There's relief, there's anger, there's all sorts. How are you feeling personally? Um, it, it's a difficult day for me personally. I lost my good friend Stuart and whenever I speak about him I start to get emotional, which I'm trying not to do now, but I'm so proud that I've been able to do and so many others have been able to do what they have to represent their loved ones and keep their memory alive and to be able to speak about them finally and so that people know what they suffered unnecessarily. And so it's, it's a whole wave of emotions and you'll have to ask me again at the end of the week because it's going to be a roller coaster. Yeah, Clive, thank you so much for taking the time to come and speak to us. Uh, Clive Smith there, Chair of Trustees of the Haemophilia Society.